Hi guys, welcome to another Barrel Flex video. If you haven't seen the previous three, this is Barrel Flex part four. The long awaited roller option. We have a roller on a 1.3 barrel. This is way bigger than we normally recommend. And it's the barrel that flexed the most. If you watched the first video, you would have seen that. There I showed you because the pressures on the barrel on a roller should be equal there shouldn't be any flex well to go to the setup it is set up quite different it has a single line going backwards and forwards twice to encapsulate the rollers we don't need to have rubbers through there because whatever span we do here it's equi on both sides that pin through the muzzle is exactly on the center line of the barrel on top same as before we have a laser switched on it's aiming at the screen the same distance away as before you can see if i move it it flexes quite easily if i'm hanging on the end of the barrel so equitension because of the rollers shouldn't show any flex in the barrel we jigged it up exactly the same everything clamped up there's no movement here very little you must remember with the roller it has a single rubber therefore the forces involved are only that of what a single rubber can give you a 16 mil at max is about 60 kilos nobody runs them at max so we run it off at about 50 50 kilos is still a very tight rubber to pull on so the forces should be equal what's pulling on the bottom and pulling on the top is exactly the same because of the roller allowing it to balance so we shouldn't have to go to 100 kilos. We're only going to go to 50 and let's see what happens. Okay, we're all at zero. Let's start hauling. You may see a slight right to left movement of the laser. That's more about the jig. There we're at over 50, zero change. I'm going to haul on it some more. Just if you happen to use a much thicker band, we found that 50 kilos of force is more than enough to drive a 7.5 to maximum speed. There we ride up at 100 and no change. Exactly what we predicted, those forces are balanced out, zero flex on an aluminium. The difference between aluminium and carbon therefore is quite a lot of weight. So there is an advantage with a roller carbon to give you more buoyancy. Timberline, same thing again, more buoyancy, more lead, more mass to dampen the recoil. Although on a roller, you already have quite a dampened recoil because that thrust is a lot less, but for a longer drive. So there you have it. That's what our rollers do compared to a non-roller. And one of the advantages of the roller is that added accuracy by not creating that wobble in the spear. Hope you enjoyed that video. Stand by for the next one.